our instructor always tells us that we can come in early so he can help us with scenarios before class time. This is time out of his day that he is giving to help us. You can tell he actually wants us to succeed in this career path and that he cares. She takes an active interest in every student in the class. She makes an effort to get to know everyone and offer support. We know we are not alone in this course. This is my sixth year in post-secondary school, and this instructor is by far the most friendly and approachable I have ever had the pleasure of learning from. She always displays a friendly demeanor and will greet and approach students out of class. This makes a difference. The second principle of good practice states that instructors should encourage cooperation among students, and your students said. He gets great group discussions happening so we can learn from each other. He engages students in teaching and helps students learn from each other. He knows that we have a lot of knowledge too. We do lots of learning activities that are interactive, informative, and fun. It's a great way to learn. He often gets us to work together and then teach the class. This never feels like him trying to get out of teaching because he's still always there to support us. It feels like him trying to get us to learn more. The third principle of good practice states that instructors should encourage active learning. And your stu students said that you always use relevant examples from industry. This helps me learn more about the field that I'm wanting to be in. She's always looking for new ways to teach us and present information in a unique and effective way. His teaching methods are always entertaining. Not that education has to be entertaining, but we are never bored and we're always taking part in our learning. All of his courses are organized and contain tasks, activities, and assignments that will help our, with our development both in our career and personal lives. His expertise of the related technology is notable and he shares his experience with the class. This gets us excited about our chosen profession. The fourth principle of good practice states that instructors should give prompt feedback. Your students said, not only does our instructor inform us of what we're doing wrong, but also tells us how we can approach it differently. Sometimes we just get exam marks on our exams, but never from this instructor. Our instructor provides feedback on exams so that we can use that feedback to continue to learn. Constant assessment makes the course easier to digest, and it's fun. I know that sounds contrary, but it isn't. We get regular one-on-one -on -one feedback, which helps us to continue to learn. The fifth principle of good practice states that instructors should emphasize time on task. And your students said, she always ensures that we get enough time on topic to be confident that we know the material and are ready for exam time. She maintains a tight instructional schedule, always reviews what we have covered and what is left to do. We always know what we need to prepare for the next class. Her classes, are, her classes actually use the full instruction time and she definitely does not read the textbook to us. We never felt our instructor would waste our time. There were lots of ways that we learned and lots of in-class activities, but we were always learning because the activities kept us learning. She is the most organized person. Every minute of this class was used effectively. The sixth principle of good practice states that instructors should communicate high expectations, and your students said, her no-nonsense approach to students lets us know exactly what is expected of us and what we need to do in order to create our own success. He gave us all the tools we needed to be successful, as long as we are willing to accept them. Our instructor likes to say, I'm learning and will always be learning. I think this is an innovative way to learn about education, to think about education. He knows his curriculum, but he says he will forever be learning from his students. This helps remind us that we have a responsibility to learn as well. This course is known to be a difficult course. Our instructor tells us to forget what we've heard because she is going to help us all succeed. And then she also tells us that we have to help ourselves too. And the final principle of good practice states that instructors should respect diverse talents and ways of learning. And your students said, this semester, she added the use of videos in Moodle. This was really a helpful way for me to learn. He taught in a way that helped all individuals. I don't really know how he did it because I'm not a teacher. I just know he did it. The Moodle for this course is the best I have ever seen. 
I always know exactly where we are. There are PowerPoints, flashcards, audio summaries, and more that help me and my classmates learn. I wish every class had such resources. He uses a lot of different methods, teaching his students in a variety of ways to make sure that every student understands and can benefit from each class. Whether that is working towards the kinesthetic learners or visual ones, he makes sure to add each into his curriculum. As I read through the nominations to prepare for today, I was immensely proud to work at NATE and to know that these words are written about our instructors. They're written about you. I wish I could use words from every nomination, but I simply couldn't. There's too many and there was too much written. However, similar words were written in just about every nomination about you. It's going to be very hard to come up with the winners for instructional excellence. Your students thought deeply about their nominations and how they wanted to celebrate and honor you and your work. The final words from your students that I will leave you with today are, our instructor's impact on our futures will not be forgotten. With that said, if you are not wearing a rose, please stand up. And if you took your rose off, you stay seated. <laughs> And all of us standing, let's give the instructors a large standing